Mary Matiea is running for Congress in Arizona 2nd District. She's a just Democrat, so of course you know that means she doesn't take corporate PAC money. Mary, welcome to the Young Turks, how are you? Um, very well, thank you. All right, Mary, you've got an open seat here, and it could go either way, it could go to a Republican or a Democrat. And this was Gabby Gefford's old seat, so right. a really interesting race. Martha McSally is going to run for the US Senate, that's why it's open. And right. she's a Republican. First of all, Mary, you got a hell of a background. I mean, you are for real. Chief Financial mm -hmm. Officer of the US Forest Service in the past, where you oversaw a $4 billion budget. Chief right. Assistant Chief Financial Officer of the Housing and Urban Development, where you oversaw a $40 billion budget. So you are not messing around. So <laughs> what makes you run for this race? Well, I just believe that my background is one of the American dream. My parents were migrant farm workers. They picked cotton when they moved to Southern Arizona. And over time and with the public education system we have, with the equal employment opportunities that I had, I was able to become not the CFOs that you mentioned, as well as a political appointee for President Barack Obama. Uh, that American dream worked for me. However, this administration is breaking uh, our ability to achieve the American dream. I think our future generations are going to have a really hard time giving the direction this administration is going. So I'm running to make sure that we protect the American dream, that we are able to provide debt free education, to provide health care for all, Medicare for all, that we are able to provide. Uh, civil rights and, and equal opportunity to, to, our, to our people. And we just have to make sure that we remain the democracy that we have been building. Although right now, unfortunately, it's going backwards. So before we get to your establishment Democratic candidate, um, uh, I wanna talk more about policy. But first, you're a doc you've got a doctorate from the Executive Leadership Program at George Washington University. Uh, so does that yes. mean you're actually Dr. Mary Matea? Yes. That's awesome. Okay, um, <laughs> so uh, we got I'm a doctor. I'm always busy. I'm always busy. <laughs> yeah, well, we got a doctor in the house. So, um, so then let me ask you uh, about uh, more about policy. Then you, you say you're for responsible government, and you, you know you've had a lot of important positions in the government. What do you mean by responsible government? What I mean by responsible government is first of all that the 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 Congress uh, that People who are in power actually pay attention to the voters, to the taxpayer, and and implement policies, legislation, and budgets that the actual voters and taxpayers want. The taxpayers, for example, are responsible, and they do want a good public education. They do want debt-free education. They do want people to get good health care. They do want our veterans to be taken care of. And I just want to make sure that in this responsible government that our legislature does in fact pay attention to the voter. And once we get the budget, once that budget reflects the values of our legislature, I believe in that our CFOs, our financial, our executives and in executive departments pay attention to that and are very, very clear about the taxpayers' money being spent in the manner it is it was legislated and intended to be spent. So you mentioned earlier that you got a debt-free education, but you got a BA, an MBA, a doctorate. How'd you do that? Well, uh, well, first of all, my BA and uh, MBA, my BA, I went through uh, public schools, the University of Arizona. I received a, a bachelor's in education from the University of Arizona, debt free. Uh, small scholarships, at that point, uh, tuition was only $200. It was affordable. So uh, I was able to get a very small scholarship, or with my summer employment, I was able to pay for it, debt free. Uh, when I went to uh, through the MBA program, I, it was a federal fellowship. That fellowship was trying to make sure that there was diversity in business. And so they recruited me, a, a Latina, to go into the MBA program. And uh, with that federal fellowship, I was able to complete, uh, complete that. Um, and then, of course, you know, once it went to the doctorate uh, program, I was already, what, 56 years old when I got my doctorate. 
So pretty much uh, a little bit of help from my employer and a lot of help for me, but debt free. Okay. Well, look, and and you're in a sense a, a, a walking uh, case for debt-free education because uh, we invest in, in in you as a society, and then you become right. uh, someone who's a chief financial officer and someone right. who's an enormously productive member of society. Which then leads me to why wouldn't the Democratic Party overall want to support you? I mean, you worked in the Obama administration. You had these re really gigantic jobs in 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 the government. Um, you seem Incredibly qualified. Uh, who, who's your opponent, and why are they backing her? Well, there are several folks that are running for uh, the Democratic race here. My main opponent opponent is uh, is of course Anchor Patrick. Uh, she is known in Washington D.C. She is known by uh, by uh, the folks in the Triple C and Emily's list. And it's it's just the case that they're supporting her because they know her, and they understand that she's able to raise money, and raising money becomes unfortunately the main the main metric. I am an unknown, although I've served my country for 34 years, although I've been very very accomplished in in the the kind of work that I've done for the federal government. Uh, I'm an unknown in terms of being able to raise money. And unfortunately, that's what what I think uh, is a reservation. They don't know whether I can raise money. That, you know, it drives me crazy that that is their only mm -hmm. metric. So, right. and, and you would vote to get money out of politics, I take it. Oh. Oh, absolutely. I can see right now where people are making decisions about candidates based on whether they can raise money, not the values that they have. And again, the Southern Arizona values tend to be very, very generous and very empathetic. Having a good public education system, an accessible public education system, a debt free education system, taking care of our veterans, that's what we believe in Southern Arizona. But at the same time, it becomes a matter of we want a Democrat, we don't know, we don't care. I can't tell you how many times I've heard we want a Democrat, we don't care who it is or what they believe in as long as they're a Democrat. And we have to go back to caring about what the values are and making sure that who's ever sitting in Congress is has those values that we believe in here in Southern Arizona. But Mary, I'm not sure that you're gonna fit in in Congress because you had a debt free education and you want others to have it. Whereas most of the people in Congress like to burn the bridge right after they cross it. So <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna get along with Paul Ryan, for example. <laughs> <laughs> well, the many, many years I was a senior executive, the CFO of HUD, the CFO of the Forest Service. I worked in, a, in the Bush administration. I was a senior executive in the Bush administration. So I'm able, I believe, to have a, an intelligent conversation uh, and of course, that's assuming they're able to have an intelligent conversation. Yeah, that's, that's and <laughs> a and an so we will, we will talk it out. Uh, but again, we go back to the American dream. This is this is a country that made the poor um, excel, succeed in this country. We have to remind ourselves that that our our uh, grandfather, that our grandmothers and our parents uh, benefited from a very generous government. So Emily's list says that they're for women's rights. Uh, right. What's your record on women's rights? Are, <laughs> uh, are you against them for some reason? Why isn't Emily's list on your side? I think it goes back to the same reason. They're banking on the person who's uh, who's shown an ability to raise millions of dollars. Uh, I have not shown that. I've shown the ability to be able to manage $240 billion. Uh, I've been able to, to hold a uh, uh, government agencies accountable and pass audits uh, in the billions of dollars, but I've not been able to raise uh, millions of dollars as my competitor, and therefore that's what Emily's list is looking for—the ability to raise a million dollars within a quarter. Jesus and uh, <laughs> yeah, so but Dr. Matiela, you're you're of course for reproductive rights and uh, right. for equal rights for women. I take it. Oh, absolutely. I can't tell you how many times I've been a ceiling breaker in an organization. I was a first Latina CFO for the Army. I was a first Latina CFO for, for, the, CF, uh, for the Forest Service. 
uh, as a Latina senior executive, there's only 1% of Latinas, 1% of Latinas who are senior executives in the federal government. And I've been able to overcome many obstacles. And yes, I do believe in women's rights. Uh, I, I do believe in choice. I do believe in breaking glass ceilings. And I do believe in giving women of color, women uh, opportunities to, to be at the table making decisions. So let me show everybody the links here because I, I want you to find out more about um, Dr. Matiela's uh, positions. So go to her website, uh, find out wh where she stands on income inequality, protecting the environment. Make sure you do your homework, find out who's the most progressive person in the race. Now. I know because she's a just Democrat that, that she is, but I want you to know. And then uh, volunteer uh, because warriors beat mercenaries. You guys will beat their lobbyists right. if you guys volunteer. And then of course, if you're gonna go corporate uh, free, then you need small dollar donations. All the links will be down below on, on YouTube and, and in the comment section on Facebook. So um, uh, Mary, the American dream, Matiela, Matiela thank, you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We really, really appreciate it and Godspeed to you. Well, thank you so much for giving this opportunity to be in the race and for supporting me. People like you are making non-politicians like me able to, to serve our country.